y'all, this book. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Samantha Kolsnick's True Crime. This book, I, okay, let, let's talk about the hype first off. Um, I heard from numerous people that I respect, um, that I listen to, that I pay attention to as far as their reviews are concerned. Every single one of them have absolutely loved this book. Um, I was a little standoffish about it, um, and then I kept forgetting to actually buy the damn thing. Uh, and then uh, Women of Horror Month came, I was going to read it for that, and then the, uh, my mother passed away, so I had to cut that entire, that entire thing off completely. Um, so I wasn't even around for a while. Uh, I really, really wish I had got to this book sooner, though, because believe the hype, this book is amazing. Um, I, the last time I read something this good in this genre, which, I mean, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's really hard to, I, I don't want to say something that everybody else is saying, but it, it's true. Kolsnick is the heir to Jack Ketchum's throne. It was like reading a Jack Ketchum book. Um, the, the violence, the character development, the trauma, everything in this book felt like Ketchum. Now that is not to say that uh, she is a ripoff of Jack Ketchum. This is not that. This is not someone trying to be someone else. This is her doing her own thing, but the feeling, the tone, everything about the book feels like that type of experience. Um, there's, a, there's a blurb from Brian Keane that says, uh, a debut with the power of a nuclear bomb ranks alongside Jack Ketchum's The Girl Next Door and uh, Gonzalez's Survivor. Um, I would, I, I'm going to completely agree with that. I don't normally agree with blurbs, uh, but that one is spot on. And on the back of it, it even, said, it even has an ad for Ketchum Plumbing, which is cool. Uh, real quick note about the publisher, Grindhouse Press has been pumping out, and this is number 58 in their series, uh, has been pumping out some good material as of late. Uh, one thing that I was uh, not really shocked, um, but one thing that I really want to point out here because I am so impressed is Anderson Prunty's editing. Um, I've read other work from Prunty um, and uh, stuff that he has worked on, and the dude is exceptional. Uh, but when you have an exceptional editor, you do kind of wonder, you know, how much cleanup did it need? Uh, with, with this one, I could, just the flow of the language and the tone of the story and everything, Samantha needs props also. Uh, the, both of them working on this book, I, I feel it just brought it to uh, that, that next level. Of course, I didn't read the uh, unedited manuscript, but... I just want to give a shout out. The main purpose for me saying this is I want to give a shout out to publishers who are doing it right, even if it is all on the author, but this time I know it's not because Prunty stuff is good too. Um, so all, all commendations need to go to uh, the, the publisher and the author. They have made a fantastic book and they need to be applauded for it. Um, one of the one of the things that stuck out so much about this is the the way the book opens. the The very first chapter of the book is disturbing as hell, and it does not let up throughout the entire book. It's a brilliant, brilliant way to open up a book because you set up your reader right then and there. As soon as they open up the book, you set them up for what they are in for. Um, the, and I think that's another reason why it's become so popular, even with people who do not like that kind of content. I am, I'm in awe of this. Uh, Samantha Kolsnick is a, is a screenwriter, a director. I, I'm going to try my best to find every single thing that she has ever worked on. And I am super excited for anything that comes out you know, in, in, the, in the near future. Um, so, uh, Samantha, if you watch this, consider me a fan. I am blown away uh, by how good this book is. Uh, now, finally, I do want to talk about the content of the book, not spoilers or anything like that. I do want to tell you what the story is about. This is kind of like uh, Natural Born Killers meets... Well, if Natural Born Killers was written by Jack Ketchum, that kind of thing. 
Um, you don't have the, uh, the, the craziness of Natural Born Killers, like the surrealism of that one, or the goofiness of that one. If Jack Ketchum did like the novelization and he took out all the surreal stuff, that, that's pretty much what you're getting. You're following Susie and Lim as they go on uh, a killing spree, but that's not the whole book either. The book takes a, uh, a left turn it, toward the middle that I wasn't expecting, and that is where the content really starts to shine, is when, is when Samantha takes the, your, your idea of a monster and breaks it down and tries to make them human, tries to make you relate. And you don't have to like the characters. In fact, if you do, there might be something wrong with you. But uh, you don't have to like the characters, but you understand where they're coming from, and you might even have a little bit, a little bit of sympathy for them. The ending. I, uh, um, I was. This is one of those endings, man. That 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 I just kind of sat back and I put the book down. I even tweeted out. I said Sam Samantha Kolsnick, uh scares me. Goddamn, and that is the absolute truth. The uh, what she the the lines she crossed, or the I guess the the twists and turns of the story. I, I, I commend her for that because, like, I, I've said this uh, often enough, and maybe Grindhouse is doing this with all of their books. I haven't read enough of them to find out, but it's so refreshing to find someone who goes for the type of ending that this book has. I don't want to spoil that for you, of course, um, but go out and read this. Seriously, if you're a fan of Jack Ketchum especially, have you read True Crime by Samantha Kolsnick? Please let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you liked it, whether or not you hated it, whatever. Let me know exactly why you liked it and exactly why you hated it, disliked it, whatever. Let me know down there so we can have a conversation about the book. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!